Hey, this is Dave from HouseParents.com, and together with my brother Rich and my son Caleb, we renovate houses and show you how to do projects in a simple DIY way that will save you a lot of money in the process. Today we're just going to take on repairing a chair, and specifically we're going to try to deal with the rungs of this chair that are loose. As you can see with this chair here, we've had, a, we've had trouble keeping this particular part of the tenon in that hole or the mortise uh, in which it was originally designed. Uh, the result is that it, it could be uh, a little bit of a uncomfortable situation to watch your guest fall fall on a broken chair. So our goal is to get this in here, and you could just try to glue it, uh, but uh, it's a it's a lot of filing uh, to get the glue to to adhere right, and sometimes the glues just don't hold. It all depends on the ones you you use. But what we're going to show you here is is a you know, an old school way of making sure a mortise, uh, a mortise and a tenon in, stays within that mortise hole. All right. The first thing we want to do is try to get the wedges back into its hole, get the tenon to go back into the mortise, like so. But as you can still see, we got that much of the wood that's still uh, out of the of the mortise. So we're going to use a, a little rubber mallet here, and bang it back together. And that's how it should stay. But we want to make sure that we lock this. And so we're going to basically do an invisible repair on the bottom of this. What I have is a 1 8 inch dowel. We're going to, what we're going to do with this is, is cut a piece off of this dowel, drill a hole into the bottom of the chair leg in a direction to make sure that we hit this piece of the chair. Now the only thing you have to do on this is make sure you don't go too far. As you look around this room, you can see a lot of different timbers. They're all hand hewn, um, probably a couple hundred years old or more. Uh, back in the old days before nails and steel brackets, uh, they used mortise and tenon tenons, pocket cuts and trunnels to join those pieces of wood together. Um, here's a pocket cut that would accept another uh, beam into it. Uh, we also have uh, an example here of uh, the wooden nails that would be used to join uh, two sections of you know, mortise and tenon setup and these wooden nails are called trunnels. Um, so that's basically what we're doing in our chair here is to put a, a little wooden nail or a trunnel through our uh, the piece that has the mortise hole in it until it intersects with the tenon that is in the mortise hole, and we're going to we're drive that wooden nail through there. It'll go through both pieces, and it'll lock it into place. And so the technology itself, while simple, is uh, very sturdy. And in our application here, you can be sure that that it's going to be a trusty hold. Um, whether this is a rung or a spindle that's popped out uh, or a leg, this simple uh, wooden nail will do the trick. Okay, you can see our hole there. And so all we need to do is take a, a piece of dowel and we'll just cut it off with some shears. We don't need a long piece. The drill bit went in about an inch. And so we're gonna make ours a little bit longer to make sure we uh, make this dowel bottom out in the hole. And then we got a little wood glue here. We're just gonna put just the least little bit on here just to give it some hold but it, that's probably not even necessary. And then we're gonna take a, just a little household hammer and run this into the hole. And then as you get there, the dowel just breaks. And I think that's pretty smooth as is, so I think we're just gonna leave it as, at that. Now we've got a permanent repair and that little trunnel or that little peg is going to hold these two from ever coming apart again. Well, I hope this video helps as you try to repair a chair leg or a chair spindle. It's not that complicated and well worth your time and effort. It's a five minute repair and it'll last uh, for uh, quite a long time. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section below and we'll get to them just as soon as we can. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. We've got lots more videos coming and we'd like you to be sure and catch them as they happen. Thanks a lot for viewing. And we'll see you next time.